Thank you, Tanya. Well, the barrier draw for the Melbourne Cup had trainers, jockeys and punters on edge. Here's how two of the favourites, Hartnell and Jamaica, fared. Horse number six, Hartnell, John O'Shea, James McDonald, Andy Macker from Godolphin. There's the, the man who's given the task of selecting the barrier. Runner up in a Cox Plate, can he do what Fiorente did? Runner up in a Cox Plate and win the Emirates Melbourne Cup. And the barrier, 12 for Hartnell. Beautifully done. Andy will certainly keep his job in the future. Horse number 12. Horse number 12, Jamaica. Kieran Ma, Nick Hall, Janice McKenna's got the task of picking the barrier for the Caulfield Cup winner. Trying to emulate the feats of Ethereal and winning the big double. Jamaica was brilliant. 11 horses have completed the double. Janice thinks about it and picks barrier number three. Janice, come here. You lucky thing. Jerry's pumping the air. The owners are pumping the air. What would you have been happy with? That's the one I was going to pick. You were after three. Well, Hartnell remains the cup favourite despite drifting from $4.60 to $5. The big mover is Oceanographer, who a few weeks ago was at $101, has now firmed with the punters into $5.50. Last year, Prince of Penzance was $86 to win the cup. So if you like an outsider, Rose of Virginia is at $201 to $1. Meantime, the Victoria Derby saw another Cummings moment. Prized icon beat favourite Sacred Elixir to the line in the $1.5 million race at Flemington. The James Cummings trained prized icon hit the lead in the straight and jockey Glenn Schofield made sure the 17 to 1 shot wouldn't be beaten. Prized icon, the leader, wants to duck in but he's kicked two lengths in front of Sacred Elixir. Who can't lift and prized icon won it by two and a half. Emma Starr is a talented filly and she certainly lived up to her name at Flemington. She settled in second position and made an early run for home, holding off the swoopers to become the first three-year-old to win the Maya Classic. Fancied runners in the eight horse field, but Flying Artie did just that, finishing strongly through the middle to win the 1200 metre Coolmore Classic. Flying Artie was settled near the back of the field at the 600 metre mark, but his charge for home was perfectly timed. It's 